Hello everyone, in this video we are going to determine the domain and range of logarithmic functions. Before we jump into these examples right here, let's have a review on the different notations in writing for domain and range. We remember that in writing for the domain and range of a given graph, if the value is not included, we are going to use an inequality notation with no bar underneath, or we are going to use a parenthesis if we want it in interval notation. If the values are included, then we use a greater than or less than with a bar underneath, and we use a bracket if we want it in interval notation. Now, for Inequality notation right here, we remember that for domain, this is read as x is greater than or equal to a, or x is less than or equal to b, where our a here is the leftmost boundary, well, our b is the rightmost boundary. Now, for the range, we have y is greater than a, or y is less than b, where a here is the lowermost boundary, of the graph and B here is the uppermost boundary of the graph. Now, if we want it in interval notation, now please take note that this is not an ordered pair notation. This is for domain and range. So this A and B can be placed either inside a parenthesis or inside a bracket. Now for domain, we are referring the left side right here, it's either a bracket or parenthesis. This would represent the leftmost boundary of the graph, while this will represent the rightmost boundary of the graph. Now, if we have a notation, interval notation for range, this would represent the lowermost uh, boundary of the graph, and this would represent the uppermost boundary of the graph. Again, the bracket represents if the values are included, and the parentheses represents values that are not included. Okay, going back to the examples that we have here, before we jump into writing the domain and range for each of these graphs, we remember that a logarithmic function is asymptotic, so which means that this graph approaches towards the asymptote but will not touch it, so which means that our asymptote value here is not included. And then in this case right here, this is the asymptote. The asymptotes are in broken line, so this graph right here is going to get closer and closer to the asymptote, but it's not going to touch it. Now others are going to say, oh, but your picture looks like it's touching it. It does, It's not actually touching it, so it just gets closer and closer to it. It looks like it touches is it, but um, when we say asymptote, that's a line that this graph will never touch. So which means that the, as the value for the asymptote is not included. So let's take this first example right here. For the, for the domain of this graph, we remember that if we talk about domain, we're looking at the leftmost boundary and the rightmost boundary. So looking at this graph, this is our leftmost boundary. That means it's, it, it does not... Um, it stops here, it doesn't go beyond this line. So this is our leftmost boundary. Now the rightmost boundary here, if we trace it, it doesn't end. So that means we can't put a boundary there. So then we can go ahead and say that our domain would be anything greater than negative two. So that, because when we talk about domain, we're talking about our x values. So we're looking at the x axis here. So anything that is to the right of negative two is actually our domain. So then we can go ahead and write the domain as x is greater than negative two. Because again, this is negative two right there. Now others are gonna say, why is it that you're not putting a bar underneath this? Because remember, this is an asymptote negative 2 is not included. This graph will never touch the asymptote, but it gets closer and closer to it. So that's the first uh, notation for the domain. Now the other notation for the domain would be x is greater than negative 2. So anything greater than negative 2, but is less than positive infinity. So this is our second um, notation for the domain, which means that this is our leftmost boundary, which is negative two. Since negative two is not included, I did not put a bar underneath. Well, the rightmost boundary, it goes to infinity. That's how I write the positive infinity. I write positive because there are two infinities. It can be on the negative infinity or on the positive infinity. So this one's telling us that it is the rightmost, positive infinity.
Now, the other notation for domain and range using the interval notation, that would be a parenthesis negative 2. Again, we're using a parenthesis here because negative 2 is not included. And then we have a positive infinity. And infinity is not included. So these are the three notation for the domain using the inequality notation. And this is using the interval notation. Again, both of these are uh, parentheses because negative 2 is not included and infinity is not included as well. So for the range, we remember that range, we're talking about lowermost and the uppermost um, boundary. So in this case right here, if we trace on the graph, the lowermost is all the way to infinity because of that um, arrow. So I'm not going to put a boundary on the lowermost part. On the uppermost part, now remember that this graph is going to go to infinity. It's, it's, it's going up and at the same time right. So which means that this is going to infinity. So which means that our range would be all real numbers. Okay, so in um, interval notation, all real numbers can be written as that's going to be negative infinity. So that is the uh, lowermost boundary, negative infinity, and the uppermost boundary would be a positive infinity. Both of them are um, in parentheses. Now let's move on to the next one right here. So we start with a domain. So for the domain, again, would be left and right boundary. So for the left, our boundary is on positive one. So I go ahead and say that our domain is anything greater than positive one. So that is x is greater than positive one. So that's the first notation. The second notation would be x. It, it looks like this. So x is greater than one, so anything greater than one, but is less than positive infinity, because again, our um, our graph here is directed towards infinity. So this is the other notation for um, domain. Now the third notation for domain using interval notation would be that's going to be a parenthesis on one, and then it's going to be on positive infinity. This is the leftmost, which is 1. This is a parenthesis because it's not included, and parenthesis because it goes all the way to infinity. So this would be our not other notation for domain. Our range here, remember, it's going to be the lowermost and the uppermost boundary. So if we trace the graph, open it up, it goes all the way to infinity, um, uh, directed downward at the same time right and this is directed upward all the way to infinity we can go ahead and say that the range would be all real numbers okay so the range would be all real numbers and in interval notation that would be parentheses negative infinity and then um positive infinity, which means that it goes all the way to positive infinity up and it goes to negative infinity downward. And that would cover the range. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, going back to the uh, problem right here. So we remember that if we say domain, that would be the boundary on the leftmost and the rightmost. So in this case right here, we start with the rightmost. It's gonna it's gonna end there. So that's the boundary. But remember, this is an asymptote. So this graph will just approach, uh, gets closer and closer to it, but will not touch it. And then this one right here is going to infinity. So then we can go ahead and say that our domain would be anything less than one, two, three, four anything less than four. So we can re we can write that as x is less than four. Again, there's no bar underneath because the four is not included because it is an asymptote. The graph will only get closer and closer to the asymptote, which is at four, but will not touch it. The other notation for this would be x is greater than negative infinity. So we start from the left, that's negative infinity, and then but it's less than positive four. So this is the other notation for the domain. And the notation for the domain in terms of interval notation that would come from the left, that's negative infinity, and the right is positive four. And then both of them are uh, parentheses since four is not included and the negative infinity is not included as well. So this is the other notation for the domain. So for the range, it's pretty much the same thing, the uh, lowermost and the uppermost. So lowermost, it goes to infinity, 
uppermost, it goes to infinity at the same time going to the left, which means that it's going to be all real numbers. So this is the lowermost, this is the uppermost. But for the domain, this is the leftmost and this is the rightmost. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah. Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. So for the domain here, we remember that domain is left and right boundary. So in this case right here, it's going to be at negative one and there's no boundary on the left since it goes all the way to infinity. So that would then be X is less than negative one. So that's less than negative one. That would be the domain. And then in terms of the other inequality notation here, X is going to be greater than the leftmost is negative infinity and then the rightmost is um, negative one. So this is the other notation for the domain. And then in terms of interval notation, so it comes from the left, which is negative infinity and we use bracket for it and it goes all the way to negative one, but the negative one is not included since that is where the asymptote is. So this is the other notation for the domain. And then for the range here, we go from the lowermost and the uppermost. So for the uppermost, it goes to infinity. The lowermost, it goes to infinity, which means that it's going to be all real numbers. So this is negative infinity, the lowermost boundary, and then the positive infinity, that is the uh, uppermost boundary. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah. Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!